Hi friends, welcome to PSC Collegiate English. In the last video, we had discussed uh, TRB Polytechnic question paper till question number 50. In this video, we would be doing from 50 to 100 questions, 50 questions we would be seeing. The entire question paper consists of 150 questions containing 1 and 2 marks each. So, the total comes to 200 marks. So, uh, in um, upcoming videos, I would be discussing the insights that we have got by analyzing these question papers. Uh, one, uh, one of the uh, important thing that uh, we found out during the last paper was we have to study works along with their year of publication because TRB makes it a point to ask at least one or two questions from years of publication. Also, uh, the second point that I uh, told in the last video was that while uh, reading poetry, uh, please make it a point to read it thoroughly because sometimes uh, the questions are asked from the lines of poetry itself. Okay, so without any further uh, delay, let's quickly get into the question paper, question number 51. Who is commanded on the weather uh, from Margaret Atwood's uh, surfacing? Bloody fascist pig yanks. So it is David. Who brought, who has brought a calabash of cold water uh, to his uh, father Ezulu from Chinua Chibi's arrow of God? It is Wafo. Question number 53. Uh, Wola Soinka's uh, Dance of the Forest was presented at the Nigerian Independence Celebration in October 1960. Coming to question number 54. In love, they wore themselves uh, in a green embrace, a silken rainfall through the spring upon them. The above lines are taken from P.G. Page's Adolescence. Coming to uh, question number 54, sorry, 55. Who is the Canadian poet from the following? Uh, so, uh, here both, both the writers are Canadian writers. The first one, William Wilfred Campbell and also... Duncan Campbell Scott, both of them. Duncan Campbell Scott. It is not clear, that is why I have told you again. It's Duncan, Duncan Campbell Scott. Coming to uh, question number 56. Fundamentally, uh, Murder in the Cathedral is a drama of Christian theology where the audience participates. Because uh, we have the choir uh, commenting upon the play, even before starting of the play, even before uh, Thomas Beckett comes. Uh, it is the choir that informs the audience. Coming to question number 57. The second theme in uh, Eliot's Murder of the Cathedral is the conflict between the church and the state. 58. Oscar Wilde presented only brilliant surface, never the soul of the character. Who said this? Saint John Hankin. Coming to question number 59. The leading theme of Thomas Hardy's novel, The Woodlanders, is... The Human Loneliness. 60. As a novelist, Huxley used the form of the novel to uh, propagate his ideas on important aspects of contemporary life. Coming to question number 61. According to Emerson, the first time and the first in importance of influences upon mind of a scholar is that of nature. Coming to question number 62. The House of Seven Gables uh, who was the original occupant of the Pinchion Street? It is Matthew Moll. Uh, what is the closing sentence of the novel, The Old Man and the Sea? The old man was dreaming about the lions. Coming to question number 64. Every day is a new day. It is better to be lucky. But I would rather be exact. Then what, what luck comes, you are ready. It is uh, from the old man and the sea. What luck's co luck comes, you are ready. That is what. Uh, the letters are not clear. That is why I had to repeat. Coming to question number 65. A something in a summer's day is a poem written by Emily Dickinson. 66. It had never uh, happened, neither in a thread ceremony, nor her chanderi sari. The above line is from Shashi Deshpande's The Dark Holes, No Terror. Girish Karnad's Tughlaq was published in the year 1964 in Canada, Canada, Canada language. Coming to uh, 68th question, uh, Anita Desai's novel, Where Shall We Go This Summer, consists of three parts. 
part 1 is titled monsoon 67 part 2 is titled winter uh, 47 and part 3 is titled monsoon 67 question number 69 she knew who has the god of laws the god of small things of course she did in the above passage who is she and what is god of small things so the she refers to amma who is uh, Raphael and uh, Esther's Amma uh, and the second God of small things is Veluta. Coming to question number 70, rose of God, vermilion stain on the sapphires of heaven. The above line symbolizes the sun appearing in the horizon at dawn looking like the vermilion mark in the face of heaven. Match the following. Uh, with your understanding of Swift's uh, A Tale of the Tub. So, the Peter stands for uh, Roman Catholicism, Martin stands for Anglicanism, Jack stands for Calvinism. Coming to 72, what assumption does Andrea Mar Andrew Marvels uh, convey in the garden? That plants are better than humans. 73, the first uh, man Gulliver saw at the Grand Academy of Lagado had been working for eight years on the project for extracting sun beams from the cucumbers. Coming to 74, name the uh, figure of speech used by Gray in the following lines. The boast of heraldy, the pomp of power and all beauty, all that wealth ever gave. It is anaphora. That is, the vowel sound is repeated coming to uh, 75 what does sweet auburn refer to in the following lines from the deserted village steve sweet auburn loveliest village in the plain where health and plenty cheered the laboring swain it is lisoy which is ireland, ireland the poet poet's hometown the, uh, the the particular word sweet auburn is the um, imagined place for original place called Lisoy in Ireland which is the poet's hometown. Coming to question number 76, Jacob Grimm followed up a suggestion of Danish contemporary Rusk, Erasmus Rusk. 77, the study of relationship between language and brain is called neurolinguistics. Undress is related to reversives. reversives in uh, in next video in the upcoming video i will be giving uh, explanation about each and every term that is used in this uh, question paper also i would be discussing uh, some of the uh, years th that is given in the options because uh, it is the trend of the question paper set us to uh, take or uh, sometimes uh, take fragment of uh, uh, the next questions from the previous question papers so it is the norm so, in the next video, we would be discussing all the alternatives and uh, I would be giving definitions to each and everything, reverse, reversives, uh, hyponymy, uh, cohyponyms, everything. Okay. So, in this question paper, let's just focus, focus at what are the questions and what are the answers given in the answer key. Also, uh, we are side by side, we are analyzing what sort of questions are asked or, or what should be prepared of to face the upcoming exam. Coming to uh, question number 79. The following is not a branch of macrolinguistics. So, it is psycholinguistics is not a branch of macrolinguistics. The term immediate constituent analysis was introduced by Bloomfield. Question number 81. According to Bacon, a great and potent nobility addeth dash to a monarchy. Majesty addeth majesty to a monarch. 82. Who plays the role of Thisbe in the play, the most lamentable comedy and cruel death of Pyramus and Thisbe. It's Francis Flute. 83. Oh, how I love thee, how I dote on thee, which character expresses her love thus. It is Titania. 84. Something is dash in the state of Denmark, says Marcellus. It is rotten. Something is rotten. This is a, a very famous uh, line. Uh, from the play Hamlet. 85. The Duke of Buckingham is arrested for treason. 86. These uh, most elegy imps from the little pulpris preach a lesson of uh, patience to mankind. 
the above lines refer to the chimney sweepers coming to question number 87 identify the friend of lamb who instituted an annual feast for chimney sweepers it was jem white which of the following is not a reference made by poet to the voice of solitary reaper sparkling wave william wordsworth compared the solitary reaper's song to uh, welcome notes to weary band plaintive number melancholy strain but it is not compared to sparkling wave 89 what wealth did the show of daffodils bring to the poet in, later in life they flash upon the inward eye during his pensive mood question number 90 what lies like a corpse within its grave the winged seeds 91 the novel is a very remarkable machine for the creation of human character are the words of virginia wolf sebastian in time must have a stop steals dash to purchase tuxedo it's degas 93 the chorus in murder in the cathedral states that lord have mercy upon us blessed dash pray for us blessed thomas play, pray for us 94 uh, dick dudgeon in gb shaw's the devil's disciple is a revolutionary american puritan 95 ezra pounds uh, wrote the pisan cantos from the american disciplinary training center 96 what sits statue like alone watching the sunrise in our cashmere tree a gray baboon 97 rhyme scheme of our cashmere tree it is a b b a c d c d sorry uh, a b b a c d d c e e e in uh, uh, question number 98 in the poem a river dry stones glisten like shaven buffaloes shaven water buffaloes yes that's what is written shaven water buffaloes this is from the poem itself it's from the lines question number 99 uh, syrian orthodox bishops frequently visited the imnm's house for donations question number 100 margaret kochama met chako in oxford for the first time and at that time she was a waitress at a cafe so so far we have uh, discussed uh, nearly 50 questions in the next video we would be discussing the remaining uh, 50 questions by that we would come to the end of uh, uh, this discussion of question paper of previous question paper after that uh, in the next video i would be providing you insight about what we have learned by this uh, analysis of question paper uh, also uh, in in yet another video i would be doing the explanation for the alternatives because we have here uh, with along with hard work one has to do smart work to succeed in life So with this, I am concluding, dear friends. Uh, keep watching and uh, do tell your opinions in comment section. Thank you so much.